Welcome to the showroom here at Keyboard Exchange International, where we have a fabulous collection and selection of Hammond B3, C3, and A100 organs with Leslie speakers. We're going to be demonstrating an instrument uh, that's a B3 with your choice of one or two Leslie speakers. It's one of the finest conditioned B3s that we've had in a very long time. And in fact, Randolph Carter is so enthused about the instrument He's trying to talk his pastor and his church committee into getting that organ for his church. He said it's one of the best organs he's ever heard. We're going to have a friend, uh, Milton Howard, uh, play that today. And then when Randolph gets back tomorrow or the next day, we'll make another video so you can hear Randolph playing the same organ. But we wanted to just give you a brief overview of the showroom today because the exciting news is we're having an end-of-year clearance sale going to take all the organs that are ready to be delivered, all the instruments that have already been restored, and drastically reduce the price until the end of the year, so that those of you that have been waiting until the time was right where you could get the best deal, this is absolutely going to be a great time. Now, if you don't have all the money, that's okay. We can do the financing for you. We even have plans with zero down. We have other plans with zero interest that allow you to pay it off early and get a cash discount if, if you pay it off early. Or if you pay it off right in the beginning, you get the cash discount right up front. All kinds of great deals that have been designed specifically for churches. Now let's take a walk back and uh, take a look at some of the beautiful B3s that are ready. And uh, while we're walking back, I'll just uh, mention a few things. And Rodney, you can kind of go over there where Milton is playing and uh, just give an overview of what's here. And I'll continue sharing a little bit of information. We've got a great selection. Uh, and we've spent the last two years literally searching all over the USA to find the best B3s that we can possibly find. Uh, we're very appreciative of the sellers who have sold us instruments, knowing uh, that the likelihood is that they'll end up in a church someday. And uh, that is where most of our instruments end up. We still send a few overseas for recording studios and for people that want one in their home. Uh, this particular instrument, though, is a one-owner instrument. It's Fruitwood. It's Randolph Carter's uh, pick of the week, if you will. Uh, but uh, a, a shout out and a thank you to the sellers uh, and the families that have sold us their heirloom Hammond organs because they know that we're going to make sure to find a good home for it. And uh, Mr. Milton Howard is uh, playing a rendition of Holy, Holy, Holy. And uh, the next song you're going to play is Glory, Glory. So if you could play that, then I want to come in and have a fellow of the technicians join us for a moment. Uh, and then you'll play some more after we uh, introduce the technicians. Thank you, Mr. Milton Howard. Thank you. 
built it before. He's uh, one of our good friends and Melbourne. has been gracious enough to come in today when Randolph was not available. Uh, and uh, Milton, I don't even know if you realize that we have two factory certified Hammond technicians on staff now. And, um, and I actually just learned today, and forgive me for not knowing sooner, or maybe you told me and I forgot. What was that he said? <laughs> but uh, Rick, uh, I've mentioned several times that your father actually worked here many years ago and was the best and most well-known and most respected Hammond technician, also certified at the factory. But Rick went to the factory and established the protocol for certification. Am I stating that correctly? Well, part of the team. Oh, okay, you, you're not taking all the credit, though. No. A, a small portion of it. <laughs> well, we're, we're, uh, we're just pleased that you're part of this team at Keyboard Exchange. And, um, and we've uh, recently had Brian join us, who is also a factory certified technician. And uh, both of these gentlemen are just uh, a pleasure to work with. But from your point of view, uh, if you're interested in a Hammond Oregon, you can rest assured that one that you get from us will be properly restored. In fact, these gentlemen working along with Rodney, Randolph, and myself, uh, and I give most of the credit to them, have helped establish a, a very detailed, specific uh, protocol for our restoration projects. And uh, this is of utmost importance to me because my vision for the future of our company is to outlast us. Yes, the, the company needs to outlast us. Specifically the, the organs, too. <laughs> well, the organs are capable of yes. outlasting us. Obviously, yes. Yeah. So, uh, like a Stradivarius violin might be 300 years old. Yeah. Uh, but we're not going to be 300 years old. Yeah. But the B3s can be. So we're making the effort to collect the best ones from all over the country. Then the trade-ins that we restore on the inside can be the more budget-friendly instruments. But for the people that want the finest, you can know that we are gathering the best ones from all over the country. These gentlemen and their helpers are making them uh, restored so they will last as long as they did when they were new. Let's say as a general guideline, every 50 years or so, they need to be restored again. Probably, yes. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, Brian, uh, could you tell us a little bit, a little bit about this instrument, uh, your opinion of it, the year it was built, that type of thing? Uh, well, it's very beautiful. I love the, uh, the wood finish they have on this particular one. Very rare fruit very wood. Very rare fruit wood. Other than that, uh, I'd say they all kind of look the same to me from the backside. <laughs> <laughs> There's well, a story behind that too. I <laughs> Brian hasn't been here that long, but he and Randolph ought to get together and, and, and talk about uh, the beauty of these instruments from all sides, really. And uh, this is a 1963 vintage instrument. Uh, it's uh, certified foam free by Keyboard Exchange, and partly because they weren't using foam until 1964. Yeah. So uh, we feel that it's a good idea to put a certified foam-free sticker on there. To give them that confidence. To install, instill confidence, but also to reassure people in the future they don't have to worry about the foam damage potential. Because it will damage them. It can and it will, yes, but here, 64 to 74, we take the keyboards out, we remove the foam, we do all kinds of things to make sure that these instruments are going to last literally a lifetime. So, uh, gentlemen, thanks for joining me in this brief video today. Let's give the stage back to Milton. Nope, take it away. Take it away. Thank you, Milton. Allen.